All right, so this is going to be the second video for the drone sense overview. Uh, looking into it, I think the next place we'll go is the op center down here. It's kind of the best segue into there. Again, we we everybody's not hasn't used it yet. We're still in the training phase, so we're still uh, transitioning to this ourselves. So uh, no big deal there. But we'll look at some more of that later. Uh, the op center is the best segue from the pilot app that we looked at previously. Um, into this. This would be kind of your command, if you will, what your command would use. Um, so we, it goes to the location that you're at. One of the first things I'm going to do, I don't like a regular map view. You might, but I don't. Um, I'm switching to the hybrid view. Of course, one of the first things, hey Garrett, there's two UAS out there, two drones. Where are they at on the map? You can turn on and off what you see over here. So they start off as off. We're going to turn them on. And now you can see uh, that they are, as we zoom in here, their location. Uh, you can see that's the that's the body that we that we set that from the pilot app before, and it's showing up in command here, right? Uh, of course, one of the next things everybody wants to see is is all right. Let's see the uh, live stream. All right, the Mavic. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll pop that open real quick, but there's not too much exciting there. Um, it's sitting on the front porch and all you'll see is my neighbor's um, little light there. So I'm going to close that. Of course, with every other live streaming solution, this is bandwidth limited, uh, meaning that, you know, this is just running on my home Uverse account. It's not all that fast. Um, uh, you know, if, if your pilots are out there and they had a real bad connection, it's going to depend on that. If your command center has real poor internet, it's going to depend on that as well. But uh, that's going to be true for every single live streaming capability you have. So anyway, I'm going to try to kind of get this to where you can see a little bit of both in the in the picture here and maneuver it just so you can see here. So I mean, we're getting we're getting probably three or four seconds latency on that. Sometimes sometimes we'll just have a half a second or so like that. Probably depends on how many YouTube videos my kids are watching. But um, you know sometimes we'll have a half a second. Sometimes we'll have up to up to maybe about three seconds at the most. So um, a lot of others a lot of other streaming apps are very similar. Uh, good good clear picture though as you can see here, and you can maximize it. Or bring it down and you can move it around um, if you run a real fast network has some some good high-speed connections or whatever I would I've seen again I've seen as little as uh, half a second if, if the uh, if AT&T and all those guys would actually do what they're supposed to do we could probably get uh, almost real time so anyway uh, that's your that's your streaming your live streaming it does work um, we've, we've actually used that and it works pretty well. Um, the next thing I want to show you is, I'm going to switch over to my map over here. I know you can't see this, but that's okay. I'm just switching over to my map view over on the pilot. All right. And, um, so what I want to do here is I want to show you some of the planning and stuff that you can do in this op center. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna do similar to what we did earlier. Let's just say, I'm gonna put a bomb, um, say right here on the back of my shed, right? And I'm gonna send it to all. And I want you to kind of see this. So there's nothing over here whenever I click send. Now you see how it showed up right there, right there. Cause I clicked on it and I placed it on the map over here. So you can, you can communicate uh, that back to your pilot. So the thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send a quick text message. I'm going to put, uh, you know, hey, or everyone keep and I uh, keep looking keep, if I can type behind the shed. I don't know, just to send something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a message and I, I can select who I sent to. I'm just going to send it to everybody. And I want you to look over here when I send it. See how it pops up there? 
So I got a I got a message and you'll see it disappears, but then I can always bring it back up by clicking my notifications. So all right, and they persist, which is important. All right. Um, next thing I want to show you that we have used also, and this is really good in your search and rescue type scenarios. So you have your air boss type of guy. He'd be running this or in command. And let's just say that uh, I want someone to, I'm just going to do this neighbor's yard here. I'm going to have him search that. So I'm going to take and draw this. And I'm going to place a polygon right here. And, eh, that's good enough. We can even make it kind of an awkward shape. We can add dimensions or whatever, right? So this is the area that I want to assign to somebody, right? Again, I'm going to send it to just everybody in this case. And and so what happens now, I, I hit send. And over here, I've just done that now. I could send a message, hey, Garrett, go search that. Or, hey, Joe Blow, go search that, that area, the green area I just sent to you and everything else. So that's nice. It's a really nice feature. Um, being able to to define areas and define and drop different kind of markers, prescribe markers, send messages back and forth, um, some nice features, stuff that we've been kind of needing for a while. Um, the last thing that I want to show you on here on on the um, op center is the flight planning. Okay, so we kind of briefed on that, but let's just give a scenario. Hey, we have a search and rescue. Usually, there's a lot of planning and stuff going on that. You, or you say a tornado strike and you're doing, that's also a search, but you, you get the idea. Something of a larger magnitude. And you, you have your, your uh, planning staff show up there and um, getting ready. Well, one of the things they can do while the UAS pilots are en route, let's say it takes them a while to get there, it's a mutual aid. They can take and start setting planned areas. They can actually set flights for the UAS to fly where the pilot, he can always get its last look over, make any modifications and approve it but he can pre-plan a lot of these flights. So let's just say for instance, oh, I don't know, we got this, say this lake over here and we want someone to, to go and do a, a grid search over something like that, right? So I'm gonna pick a, uh, uh, I'm gonna do the, the 210 and I'm going to pick the uh, X4S camera and have him do four thirds, all right? Actions and I'm gonna pick this action and I'm gonna put it out here. And again, I'm just kind of making stuff up as we go here. But do that. I'm going to have him fly that. Yeah, it's still a little high. All right. So that's basically the, the flight that I want him to fly. It's good enough. You can see that you can adjust all things, gimbal angles and everything else, right? But let's just say this is one that I want, oh, Garrett, whenever he shows up to fly, right? So I'm gonna click add to plan, right? And I'm going to, it tells you all your basics there. I'm gonna click save, and I'm gonna call this Garrett Pond, oops, Pond, I'm typing sideways, Pond Search. All right, and I'm going to tell it to save this to the cloud. All right, now I've just saved that. I don't even have to look at it anymore. I can clear it off my screen if I want to. All right, but I've saved that and I could go and do other planning. I could leave it on there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you over here. So Garrett shows up and he, he starts up Drone Sense, and I go to Mission Planning, right? And I click on Flight Plan, and I'm going to click Load. I'm just going to go pull, see what's on the cloud, and Garrett Pond Search, there it is, right? And I'm going to confirm, and there it is, successfully loaded, already in there, the one that was planned earlier, All right? So, and again, I can modify it if I want to over here, change the actions, change the altitude, let's say I determine there's not a safe, that's not a safe altitude, I can change it, whatever, but the area that's defined on a search is, is already done. Um, and so you can get a lot of the work done ahead of time. So anyway, that's kind of the basics uh, overview for the Op Center. Uh, very, very handy, very powerful tool um, and, and really kind of expands the capabilities 
uh, team operations, especially for uh, UAS. So anyway, uh, next up we'll go over the air base and, and look at some of those capabilities. All right, talk to you later.